Welcome back sa Math Husay General Math Tutorial. Sa video ng ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving rational functions, equations, and inequalities. Let's start. Example number one. Due to the inclement weather, the pilot of the plane slows down. The plane's regular flying rate by 25%. This results to an additional 1.5 hours in covering 3,000 km distance to its regular time required for the trip. Find the regular rate of the trip. So para masolve natin itong problem na ito, kailangan natin gumamit ng speed formula, which is in this case, we know that distance is equal to rate times time. Dahil gusto natin hanapin ang regular rate ng trip, so ililet natin yung r be the regular rate in kilometers per hour. Para ma translate natin itong mga verbal phrases into a workable equation, mas mainam na gumawa tayo ng table tulad nito. Alam natin na meron tayong dalawang trip conditions. Una, yung regular trip. Yung pangalawa, trip in inclement weather. Pag sinabi natin inclement weather, masama yung panahon. So, fill in natin yung table na ito. Let's start with the regular trip. Sa regular trip, yung distance alam natin is 3,000 km, right? So, yung rate naman is nilet natin bilang R, di ba? We let that Variable R be the rate of the regular trip. So kung hahanapin natin yung time, alam natin by manipulating the the speed formula, which is distance equal to rate times time, ang time natin will be equal to distance over rate. So in this case, we have three thousand over R. For inclement weather, naman, since pareho lang naman yun ang distance na three thousand kilometer. Ang paproblemahin natin ngayon ang pagkuha ng rate. Now, kung babasahin natin dito sa linyang ito, the plane slows down the regular flying rate by 25% during the inclement weather. So, kung ang regular rate ay R, so dahil nabawasan siya ng 25%, so ang rate during inclement weather will be 0.75R na lang. Ulitin ko, bakit naging 0.75 hour? Kasi, di ba masama yung weather? So, nag-slow down, nabawasan yung speed ng 25%. So, ibig sabihin, yung speed na lang niya ay 75%. Klaro. So, this time, yung time naman will be 3,000 all over 0.75 hour. Paano natin bubuoin ang working equation? Take note na yung oras ng biyahe nung masama ang panahon ay humaba ng 1.5 hours, right? Kumpara sa regular trip. So, ibig sabihin nito, ang time ng trip in inclement weather will be equal to the time in a regular trip plus 1.5 hours. So, ang ating working equation will be, so alam natin ang Time in trip in inclement weather is 3,000 over 0.75R. And this will be equal to 3,000 over R plus yung ating 1.5R. So from here, we will solve for R. So our working equation will be 3,000 all over 0.75R equals 3,000 over R plus 1.5. So, kailangan natin isimplify ang right side of the equation. So, copy lang natin yung 3,000 over 0.75 R equals 2. Now, sa right side of the equation, meron tayong 3,000 plus 1.5 R all over R. Kasi, inad natin tong dalawang expression sa right side of the equation. So, this time, pwede na tayong mag-cross multiply. So, 3,000 times R, that's 3,000 R. So, yung kabila naman is 0.75 R times the quantity of 3,000 plus 1.5 R. 
So again, i-simplify lang natin ulit yung right side of the equation. So, copy 3000R equals to so 0.75R times 3000, that's 2250R. So, 0.75R times 1.5R, that would be 1.125R squared. So, we will rewrite this equation na kung saan yung right side of our equation will be 0. So, we have 1.125R squared plus 2250R minus 3000R equals 0. Kung mapapansin natin, pwede tayong mag- Simplify, mag-combine like terms, right? So, we can simplify this further into 1.125R squared minus 750R equals 0. From here, itong quadratic equation natin, pwede pa natin i-factor out to solve for R. So, take note na pwede natin i-pull out si R. So, you can factor this out as R times the quantity of 1. 0.125R minus 750 equals 0. Now, we can now solve for R following the zero product property. So, R, alam natin, is equal to 0. Yung isa naman will be 1.125R minus 750 equals 0. So, i-isolate lang natin yung ating 750 sa right side of the equation. So, we have 1.125R equals 750. Solving for R, we have R is equal to 666.67. So, in this case, hindi natin tatanggapin ang answer na R equals 0. Pinag-uusapan naman natin is the regular rate ng plane. So, ang answer natin will be 666.67. Therefore, the regular rate of the trip is 666.67 kilometers per hour. Claro. Let's have example number 2. A theater can accommodate at most 450 people per show. The theater manager uses the formula C is equal to 2 times the quantity of H plus 150,000 over H to determine the cost C in pesos of operating the theater with H people. How many people must watch a show to keep the cost down to 1,600 pesos? So to solve this problem, alam natin na kailangan natin hanapin kung ilang tao ang dapat manood para bumaba ang gasto sa 1,600 pesos. At alam natin na pag pinag-uusapan natin ay ganitong klase ng problem, we're talking about inequality. So, to solve this, meron na tayong given formula. So, we know that the formula C, which is 2 times H plus 150,000 all over H, ay magdi-determine ng cost in operating the theater with H people. So, since gusto natin mas mababa ng 1,600 yung gasto, so it should be less than 1,600. Now, to simplify our inequality, so instead na i-multiply natin si 2 sa expression na nasa loob nitong parenthesis, mas mainam na mag-multiply tayo ng 1 half sa both side of the inequality para makancel na tong 2. So, we have H plus 150,000 over H less than 800. Now, from here, kailangan natin i-isolate yung lahat ng ating terms sa left side of the inequality and then 0 lang nasa right side of the inequality. So, we have H plus 150,000 over H minus 800 less than 0. Now, from here, kailangan natin gawing single expression, rational expression yung left side ng ating inequality. So, we have H squared plus 150,000 all over H. Paano nakuha ang H squared? Again, H times H, that's H squared. So, 
plus 150 all over h minus 800 less than 0. Again, hindi pa single rational expression yung left side natin. So, again, we can simplify this one as h squared plus 150,000 minus 800h all over h less than 0. So, this time, we can now solve for h. Since h is greater than 0, malamang dapat greater than 0 yung taong manonood ng show para mas mababa sa 1,600 yung gasto. So, the inequality can be reduced into h squared plus 150,000 minus 800 h less than 0. So, from here, let's solve for the inequality. So, let's solve for h. So, nirewrite lang natin yung inequality natin as h squared minus 800h plus 150,000 less than 0. So, to factor this out, so, take note, we're dealing with inequality, no? So, pwede natin siyang itake as quadratic equation to solve this first. So, factor out muna natin yung ating expression na h squared minus 800h plus 150,000. So, ang factor niya is h minus 300 times the quantity of h minus 500 equals 0. So, yung h natin is 300. Yung isa naman is 500. So, ito yung mga meaningful numbers na kailangan natin. So, from here, we will draw a number line. So, 300 then 500. Now, take note, ang 300 at 500 ay hindi parte ng solution because we're talking about the inequality na less than, right? So, open circle yan, open interval yan dyan. So, since we have the number line, lagi kong sinasuggest sa mga sudyante ko na we start taking test value sa gitna ng ating meaningful numbers. Because if this is true, yung number nating kinuha, if that will make the inequality true, then yun yung magiging solution. If false, ibig sabihin yung solution natin ay nasa right side and left side ng ating meaningful numbers. So, let's start in the middle. Let's take the test value na h equals 301. So, Isa substitute natin ng 301 sa ating inequality na h squared minus 800h plus 150,000 less than 0. So, substitute natin. Then, simplifying this one, you'll have negative 199 less than 0. Now, tanong, is this true? Yes, it is true. So, therefore, yung ating mga set of numbers na nasa gitna ng 300 papuntang 500 ay set of solutions. So, kaya, she need natin. So, from here, we know that to bring keep the cost down to 1,600 pesos, kailangan na kailangan na 300 to 500 tao ang manood ng show. Claro. Let's take another problem. Number 3. The speed of a boat in still water is 30 miles per hour. It takes the same time for a boat to travel 5 miles upstream as it does to travel 10 miles downstream. Find the speed of the current. Now, in solving this problem, kailangan muna nating i-clarify yung mga terminologies dito. Ano ba pag sinabi nating downstream? Anong pinagkaiba nito pag sinabi nating upstream? So, let's look at this illustration. Pag sinabi kong downstream, so yung bangka or yung barko ay sumasabay sa agos mismo ng tubig. So, ibig sabihin pareho sila ng direksyon. So, downstream ang tawag dyan. On the other hand, pag sinabi nating upstream, yung bangka o barko ay against sa flow ng stream. So, dito sa case na ito, may dalawang rate tayong pinag-uusapan. Una, 
yung speed of a boat in still water, pag sinabi kong speed of a boat in still water, ito yung speed ng bangka sa hindi nagpo-flow na tubig. Pero pag sinabi ko namang speed of the current, pinag-uusapan natin kung gaano kabilis yung agos ng tubig. Kaya may dalawang rate tayong pinag-uusapan dito. To solve this problem, alam natin na gagamit tayo ng formula na distance is equal to speed times time. And we will let x be the speed of the current in miles per hour. Tulad nung naunang example kanina, gagawa tayo ng table. Tulad nito. Sa so take note, may dalawang directions tayong pinag-uusapan. Downstream at upstream. Now, let's fill in this table. Now, sa downstream, alam natin na ang distance is 10 miles. Now, for rate, tandaan natin na may dalawang rate tayong pinag-uusapan sa problem na ito. Ang speed of the current at speed of a boat in still water. Pag downstream, alam natin na yung bangka ay sumasabay sa agos ng tubig. So, yung rate natin will be x plus 30. So, saan ko kinuha yung x? Take note, yung x natin is the speed of the current. Samantalang, yung 30 is yung speed mismo ng bangka, which is 30 miles per hour. Claro. Now, from here, so manipulating the speed formula, so time will be 10 over x plus 30. Now, sa downstream naman tayo. Sa downstream, dahil against sa current, yung bangka, so ang distance na na-cover niya lang ay 5 miles. Now, yung rate naman is x minus 30. Bakit kaya x minus 30? So, take note na yung bangka ay against sa daloy ng tubig. Kaya nababawasan yung rate kapag upstream ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, klaro ba yun? Now, this time, we get the time for the upstream. So, yung time niyan will be 5 all over x minus 30. Now, paano natin nahahanapin ang working equation? Alam natin na it takes the same time for the boat to travel 5 miles upstream as it does to travel 10 miles downstream. So, yung working equation natin will be time of downstream is just the same with time with upstream. No? So, you have 10 all over x plus 30 equals 5 all over x minus 30. So, this will be our working equation. Kaya importante na marunong tayong mag-translate ng mga verbal phrases into mathematical sentences. So, from here, we will solve for x. So, kopyahin lang natin yung ating working equation. So, from here, we can cross-multiply. So, we multiply 10 with the quantity of x minus 30. And this is equal to 5 times the quantity of x plus 30. Now, so, kailangan natin distribute yung 10. So, we have 10 times x. That's 10x. 10 times negative 30 is negative 300. Equals. So, 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 30 is 150. Now, combining like terms, we have... 10x minus 5x equals 300 plus 150. So, again, combining like terms ulit, we have 5x sa ating left side of the equation. So, right side naman is 450. Now, to solve for x, which is the speed of the current in miles per hour, so, dividing both sides of the equation by 5, we have x is equal to 90. Ibig sabihin, yung speed of the current is 90 miles per hour. Claro.
take note, if you're dealing with this kind of problem, importante na klaro sa inyo ang pinagkaiba ng downstream at upstream. At dapat makuha ninyo agad yung working equation. Tulad nung ginawa natin sa example number 3. Klaro? Let's take the last example. A large pipe can empty a pool in 6 hours. And a small pipe can empty the same pool in 9 hours. How long will it take for the both pipes to empty the pool? So to solve this problem, let T be the number of hours for both pipes to empty the pool. So again, meron tayong swimming pool na kung saan meron tayong large pipe na kayang mag-empty nitong pool ng 6 hours. Yung meron naman tayong maliit na pipe o tubo na kayang i-empty yung pool in 9 hours. So, Para mas madaling isolve itong problem, we will again construct a table para madaling mag-identify ng working equation. So, your table will look like this. So, again, may dalawang pipes tayong pinag-uusapan, large pipe and small pipe. So, yung, unang column, yung pangalawang column natin will be part of the pool emptied in one hour. Yung time at yung pang Huling column will be the part of the pool emptied by each pipe. So, let's fill in this table. Sa large pipe, alam natin na kaya niyang i-empty in 6 hours, right? So, ibig sabihin, ang part of the pool emptied in 1, one hour will be 1 over 6. So, again, ulitin ko, yung large pipe, can empty the pool in 6 hours. So, kung pag-uusapan lang natin yung part of the pool emptied in 1 hour, that will be 1 over 6. Now, again, your time is T. We let that T be the time, di ba? So, the part of the pool emptied by each pipe will be 1 sixth times T. Or pwedeng isulat natin as T over 6. Now, for small pipe, yung part of the pool emptied in 1 hour will be 1 over 9. Take note, again, yung small pipe, kaya niyang i-empty yung buong pool in 9 hours, right? So, kung part of the pool emptied in 1 hour lang, so 1 over 9 lang yan. So, again, yung time natin is T, then... The part of the pool emptied by each pipe, for small pipe, that will be 1 ninth times T, or T over 9. Now, paano natin bubuoyin yung ating working equation? So, ang working equation natin will be part of the pool emptied by the large pipe plus the part of the pool emptied by small pipe equals the entire pool emptied by both pipes. So, the equation natin will be 1 sixth T plus 1 ninth T equals 1. Now, we have our working equation. So, again, to solve for T, copy lang natin yung ating working equation na 1 6t plus 190 equals 1. So, to solve for t, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCM, which is 18. So, 18 times 1 sixth, that's 3. Times t, that's 3t. Now, 18 times 1 over 9, that's 2. Times t, 2t. Equals 18. Now, Adding 3t and 2t, you have 5t equals 18. Now, solving for t, divide both sides of the equation by 5, your t will be 18 over 5. Or, t will be 3 and 3 fifth hours. So, ibig sabihin, yung dalawang pipe, kapag nakabukas, both pipes can empty the pool in just 3 and 3 fifth 
ours. Claro. Please pause the video and try these exercises. And don't forget to type your answers on the comment section. Kung nakatulong ang matukusay, general math tutorial para mas maintindihan ninyo kung paano mag-solve at i-apply ang konsepto ng rational function, equation, at inequalities, give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sikreto para maging matukusay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Don't forget to watch the next episode at matuto kung ano ang one-to-one -one function. Bye!